All right, we just got done the architectural tour, and we're in the whatever this place is. What's this place? The food court. The food court. The food court. Thank you. Hey, these guys just went on it too. These guys just went on the architectural tour too. So we, uh, man, that was fantastic. Highly recommend it. Got to be outside. Got to see it. Got to go on the roof. Got to uh, sort of the behind the scenes kind of stuff. A little bit more. We're going to do the butler tour anyway. What do you think of the architectural tour? This is uh, Jeff Petrick. He used to be my elder, good friend, hang out a lot. He's the guy that has the season pass, the magic ticket, enabled me to join him. You've been here tons of times. What did you think of the architectural tour this time? Well, I'm always amazed at the craftsmanship. The building's been standing here for over 100 years. Most of it's still in pristine condition. Of course, they do a lot of restoration on uh, the building to keep it uh, as, as good as they can, but uh, nothing like when it was brand new, of course. But you don't find uh, craftsmanship like this anymore. I work in construction, and there's no construction going on like you find in this building. Why do you think that is? Because nobody has the money, <laughs> the resources to, yeah. to do this kind of thing, or the, or the skill. There's very little oh, skill. Oh man, the skill, holy cow, yeah. Stuff. You consider every brick in this place has been hand carved. Yeah. Everything has been, uh, all the statues carved in place. Uh, like you mentioned before, what if the guy made a mistake? Well, they didn't make mistakes. They didn't make mistakes. At least they didn't record any. Yeah, they they were smaller smaller gargoyles if they made mistakes. <laughs> so one of my favorite things um, that blew me away was when we were on the back side of the house. So we were able to go to the front side and look down. We were able to go to the roof, and then we were went we went to the back back side, which I guess is west. I don't know what direction it was. It should be west because this is north, right? Right. So <clears throat> Vanderbilt's bedrooms faced out he owned how many acres 125,000 125,000 acres when he woke up in the morning he could look out his bedroom third third floor and everything he saw all the way to even Pisca he owned everything every bit of it. that I, I couldn't even fathom that once you said that like just amazing and he bought it up I guess Little bit by little bit, she said, with the farms, he acquired all this land and then started building the house. Uh, there's actually a model of the house at the very top of the house where you know he would bring people and say, Hey, do you want to see my house? Let me show you. Come all the way to the top, I'll show you a little model. It spins around. So that was pretty cool. Um, we got to see how the slate roof is put on. Can you explain that a little bit? The iron stuff? And <clears throat> there's the the roof is made with steel I-beams uh, running vertically and horizontally is running uh, pieces of angle iron at specific lengths. And then from the inside, the slate pieces, they're square tiles with two holes in them and they're actually tied on and then glued in place with a, uh, a copper wire. So if anything broke or needed to be replaced, it could be done, it all be done from the inside in the attic without having to get up on the roof because the roof is like at about an 85 degree or 80 degree incline there's no way you can no get up. way absolutely no way it's death that's the only thing you get for sure after you get on top of the roof on the outside um, that was amazing just the little copper wires they had to be hand done you could there's no way to do that automatically and each little tile is placed or a little slate tile is placed um, another cool thing about it was the gargoyles actually didn't work so they're not called real gargoyles they're called grotesques is what she said uh, which I guess she said dated way back even before uh, like back to Rome or something like that so they don't function but they're still in style and, and like uh, Mr. Peacher was saying they actually were hoisted into place and big blocks and then were carved out in place so big scaffolding was up there uh, just amazing uh, what else what else was there I'm kind of drawing a blank kind of overwhelmed at this point it's just so much to do so much awesomeness to see well we you didn't get to see because of the fog today oh, yeah. you didn't get to it's see the mountains but you could look out see mount pisgah and uh, 80 thousand acres was sold by mrs vanderbilt mm -hmm. uh, when her husband died uh to the uh, to the to the uh, federal government yeah and they started the forestry commission the forestry that's right they teamed up with some people and were very interested in forestry 
and, and uh, there was a couple of guys in particular who started. I don't remember their names offhand. Yeah, I got a picture of the of the plaque, but that's the beginning of uh, the forestry movement in our nation. I think, yeah. right? Isn't yeah. that what they said? Wow, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. The cradle of forestry. The cradle of forestry. Yeah, just amazing. And the view wasn't as good today because of the fog, but I can only imagine this just to the horizon, just seeing that beautiful, beautiful view. The man who surveyed the original property took two weeks on horseback. Oh, yeah, to get, to get the whole property surveyed. Amazing. And then two days to go something, hunting to or to go, guy, yeah, to get there. The, to uh, buckhorn, buckwheat, buck something lodge. Buck, yeah, that's right. Just Not buckwheat, but amazing. buckhorn lodge. Massive, massive amounts of land. Just beautiful, beautiful, I'd like to beautiful. go see that. Why don't they show us that? It's yeah. on their property. That's got to be, that's true. we got to get permission from Probably somebody else. Probably the do drop in or some other kind of place now. Well, I highly recommend the architectural tour. Uh, we're getting ready to do the Butler tour, which is probably going to be even better. Just all the tours so far have been worth it. Just the normal tour that you go on and the architectural tour. So looking forward to that. And then we're maybe going to go over and look at the greenhouse. Conservatory. Conservatory yeah. before we leave, and then maybe even after that go to the winery. So hopefully we'll be able to fit it in before sundown, uh, make a full day of it. So thanks for your report. Signing off.